Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, a press moile deluge with the German Empire, or as it is now known, the Teutonic Reich. Anyway, we need to go to war against Poland, so let's start planning this episode, shall we? I want to retake my course. Doesn't matter how long it will take, it will never go away as a castle's belly. Okay, horses, that's 57. Plus 16, that's 73. Hmm. Interesting. Why am I making 73 horses? You know, forget it. You 16 people, you'll be needed in the front line. Also, I think it's time for us to upgrade those tanks. Okay, requires some mechanized who can purchase that. I need more stability. Is there something that will bring me my more stability? Improve the working conditions, weekly stability plus 0.5%, consumer goods? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not that keen on the consumer goods anymore. I mean, I don't need it, not that I'm not keen on them. I still think it's amazing, although... Right now we have the factories we need to make this a reality. So... What do we need? Let's make those 24 infantry. Okay, thank you. And thank you. And yes, I am gonna make mistakes, why not? And some tanks. Okay, we are building one, we need four more. Good. We don't need any more, no, we will need a little bit more chromium. Manage occupied territories. Okay. Leave this, this, and this. We should probably have some horsemen on this part of the world. There we go. You can hide yourself, and I'm gonna build 20 more, because once we conquer Poland, We'll need someone to quote those rebellions, right? Okay, time for us to build a front line. Yobo. First speed, two, we don't need this. And third infantryman. On this border. Let's hope you covered it all. Next. 19 of you. I'll think about it in a moment. How so? Let's say you get on this border. Hmm. Okay, I need you on this border. That's all Trentral Powers and Continental System. There is also the Balkan Block, which includes Greece. And you have war goals against Croatia. So that's gonna be interesting actually. Are you going to declare war on Croatia? Because I have no doubt that I can beat you up. But if you do declare war on Croatia and they do manage to land here, I'm not very certain how well this will go. Okay, before we unpause, I need the Red Army, which is the most important army right now. I need all the infantry on this side. And all the tank divisions on this side. And now all we have to do is wait and produce. Okay, we're gonna do this for now. How much political power are you gaining? 0.73. Easy fix, I'd say. What do we need most of all? We need mechanized. Quite a lot of mechanized, in fact. How many tanks do we need? A thousand? 180 days for that? 50 days for the self propellant artillery? Hmm. Let's 
Let's have this. You guys should go away. 15 infantry equipment. That's good enough. I didn't notice that we need some... Yeah, some anti-air, but it doesn't seem like it's such a big deal. Still industry is devolved. You know what I need? I need better boats. So, is there... Oh, okay. I was going to say anything that gives me destroyers or... How many? Two. So it will give me both our destroyer and the battleship research, which means that we'll have level four before the end of the next year. This is gonna be amazing, I tell ya. Sixty days for this to be done. We're losing some stuff and we actually don't need that much oil anymore. Okay, it's 81. Reinhard von Halle, angered by Polish posturing, those naive citizens of the Teutonic Reich who imagined the Polish as people of peace are entirely out of touch with reality. Those who live at our borders do not have the luxury of such delusions, seeing their troops closing in on us, just across it. This is a threat we cannot leave unanswered. With every passing day, Polish Empire is preparing for war. It would be madness for us not to do the same. The Polish military presence close to our territory has sparked increased concern as this nation appears more and more to be the enemy of the Teutonic Christian party. Whenever this cause of the effect of these poetic is a matter of contention. Regardless, we must ready for war. So they are actually asking us to join their faction, which means that they are basically saying join us or die. Okay, you wait. I'm gonna need you on the yellow border. Go here. Right. Purchase a cronium from Spain. Who is, by the way, in the Russian block? Okay, you're done. Next. I need new armored vehicles. And yes, why wouldn't we have that, right? Battleship level 3. We'll lose 43 days of production. Actually, let's have our planes close to here. A thousand. Talking about our naval bombers. We have... Well, that's it. Hmm. Well, we are almost there. War women in the workforce. Total mobilization. War bonds. We don't care about that. War propaganda. War propaganda. No, we are not doing that. We are looking for something else. What was it? Workers' conditions. Weekly stability. Go for that. Let's gather some more of that, because we will need to stay on positive in order to be able to justify this war. 24th of April. Oh, in four days. Yeah, we're not going to go to war immediately after we have the Casas Belly. We're going to wait a little bit until we have our armies completed. We can actually deploy one of our tanks. That's nice. Okay, I want you on the red border immediately. New destroyer is ready. We have so much we can research. Go with resources. Yes, we do need to purchase more chromium from you guys, but that's gonna be non issue once we conquer Turkey. How much chromium do you have? 
Actually, it seems like the Greeks have some chromium and a lot of... Oh, wait, no, that's not tungsten. Hmm. So that's a lot of aluminium in the Sali. 18 tungsten isn't bad. We need a lot more, though. We're gonna have to wait. It's our war against the... Um, what are they? Not, not a republic. They are monarchists. Yeah. So we need to stop the monarchist threat. Okay, I want you over there. 60 ships, you can have that. And stay together, united at last. And you'll be deployed on this guy. And you'll be deployed on this guy. Okay, next. Naval expansion. Our boats will be big. Well, at least we have some stability now. We ha we did have someone who gave us stability, right? Yeah, Chief of Propaganda. Basically, the first guy we found here. I don't know what that protection from curses does, but I honestly don't think I'm gonna find out this time. We'll need more horsemen once we actually get the political power we need to hire the guy who is actually... What's it called again? Propaganda Meister? Chief of Propaganda. Right, so horses, you can be deployed. And you can wait, the rest of you can wait. It will take some time before that can happen, actually. Oh, come on! Production in several factories has slowed down drastically over the last few days, as the workers have declared strike on all productions, demanding peace and bread. Why? We have over 50% war support. Peace and bread. They have so far refused all attempts to negotiate a settlement. Some of the government have advocated a sharp military response followed by a swift execution of the written leaders as enemy agents and traitors. However, others in the civil service have recommended a more measured approach, pointing out that the heavy-handed response may well backfire if the soldiers involved are not as loyal as we thought they were. Okay, propaganda heroes are the people still willing to fight. You know, I'm more than happy to actually peace them out. Oh, that's not what we are looking for. Go to Americas. Look. We have more stability than them. Yes, they have more war support. Generic Prince of Terror. Yeah, that makes sense. Who is this generic Prince of Terror? Whatever, let's just wait, I guess. Oh dear. Turks. Fine. No more waiting for the propagandist. I'm going to have to go a little bit stronger here. I want you all to work for the nation. I want. New artillery? Hmm. Okay, go for that. Insufficient resources. We'll get them, no worries. From you guys. I will also require some artillery. And those guys. Can we have enough? Yes. Okay, good. Go for it. 
Next, I'm gonna have my tanks piece out the turks here. It's actually the Polish that are helping us here. They're ours. Good. We don't have any factories right now, so we actually have to wait. Damn strikers. They do call for peace and bread, but there is no way I can actually peace them out. This is something I really hate in this game. Let's negotiate for peace. I mean, I have the resources. I have all that I need. And there is a button actually calling for peace. I mean... There it is. Offer peace. Can I do that with friends? Oh, because I need to be the war leader of the losing side. You know, they will never actually offer peace. Okay, guys. I need you all here again. We're gonna let them in, then we're gonna crush them. Okay, they actually gave up. This is worrying. Okay, go with that. And you go with this. Okay, what do you actually give me? Just wanna see. Oh, come on, game! Again? We're not done with the first strike. And yes, we don't have enough political power to basically do anything anymore. Fortunately, we still have the war go. Oh, oh, wonderful. Thanks, AI. I really did want them to land here. That's why I gave artillery to our cavalry units. Because that goes so well otherwise. You stop attacking. We not have enough cavalry. We have 73. Fine, let's have more. When will you blow out? 55 days for improving conditions, 25 to address the strikers. I should have sent the army. Twice! Seriously, twice. Damn it, game. I don't actually blame the game that much. I blame Paradox for not fixing their bloody game. And yes, maybe it's the motor side, but I, I assume. And we don't have any more factories for that. Improve this. Heroes on the production front. Industrial war is more than just divisions marching and planes bombing. It is more than just duty of a soldier to fight and die for their country. An industrial war is one first and foremost in the factories and foundries, to abandon the battle on assembly line is no better than abandoning it on the front line, and the victories of the assembly line should be celebrated just as much as the ones won by the front line. 
All available propaganda resources have been routed to show the work of the argument workers in the best possible light. Reinhard von Halle has personally approved a new award to be given out to the workers who have exceeded their quota by more than 100%, and the first recipients have been sent on tours around the country to instruct other workers in their method. It appears that this has made a lot of strikers reconsider their stance. Work has reassumed in all previous affected factories. Okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, seriously, how do you even get so much manpower? Do you even have manpower left? You have a hundred thousand men. Well, good. I hope you won't die for that. It's their foe. The war is lost. Might as well peace us out. I mean, we are not idiots. We know when we have won the war. You four are attacking there. There are a hundred thousand more Turks. Keep sending them, mate. I love killing Turks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. You see, we have a proud tradition of killing Turks ever since the Holy Roman Empire existed. Yeah, thanks, Napoleon. Give him some room. You can forget about that. Attack here, here, and here. And some Americans are there. Bloody colonists. Okay. How long before we have our full factories ready? 660 days. That is quite a lot. And that's because we actually are not trading for resources. Again, thank you for that game. Fortunately, I have someone to purchase rubber from. Don't want to get oil from though. That might be a small problem. British Malaya, 18. 100. You. You. And you. Minus 60. How's the prediction going? It should be going fine. Alright, next. The traditional navy is at hand. Okay, I want anti-tank weapons, thank you very much. Okay, that's nice. How long before we have those tanks? We're still waiting for the horsemen, apparently. Fine. Drop them. We have 103. Let's make them 105. Why won't we? Oh, dude, don't. Don't. We have tanks to take care of those peasants. You know, we don't actually need to see that line again. Okay, who has lost more than anyone else? Who do we need to destroy? the Federal American Empire, the Kingdom of Louisiana, and the Mexican Empire, plus a little bit of China. We've killed 5 million people. Now, there should be something about uh, killing too many people and the others wanting to peace out. I mean, if England doesn't have any manpower, you know, Belgium and stuff. I say Belgium, I click on the Netherlands because, you know, they're basically the same nation. But no, no, seriously. 
there should be something like a correlation between stability and manpower left and people who huh. right so how many more do we need 140 days we can wait that long no worries 44 days for the tanks and new equipment let's research that People who are going on strike, like if um, if 10 million soldiers die on an offensive war for the Soviet Union, they should demand a peace. You know, it's kind of historic. Anyway, we're waiting for a thousand more men. Iron men, yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. Speaking of Iron Man. Okay, one year ahead of time and 40 days. 14. Okay, everyone, go here. Let's hope this is not a colossal mistake. If we get broken here. Speaking of which, I do want to have an offensive line going like so. We can close them off later. The face of line that's going like this. We're still waiting on those guys. Never invasion, you say. Also, we do have some air superiority in some places because our allies are actually sending us airplanes to fight the enemy airplanes who are going to be allied to the enemy soon. You know, it's because we are basically very, very smart people. Go with this. Before that, it's November, but we will need the anti-air soon as well, so once you're done, let's the research that, upgrade those, give them 15 factories here, and here, and here. How are the planes? The planes have enough. Sort of, I'm gonna need a thousand planes on this part. That's 400, 600 more planes, not on the bombers. Let's uh, actually deploy those bombers in Berlin so they wouldn't be in the way. Okay, everyone, go in the same place. Is that close air support? No, all of those are fighters. Fine, I need 600 of you right over here. You'll be over to see here and here. We're going to have a thousand planes here. Those naval invasions from Africa are very, very harmful. Okay, we will need some oil. When will you be done? Soonish. Okay, naval experience maybe? Hmm. Marines. You know, I do want Marines, so let's go with that. And let's switch you to that. And you. You know, no. 50 days, we can wait that long. One year ahead of time. It's actually a little bit better than a little bit more than a year ahead of time. I think. I can't be mistaken there. Anyway, let's pray for less rubber. I wish we could actually sell more oil. Purchase. We could actually go... Oh. Okay, we can't go on close economy right now. Because our political power is not getting any better. How long before you're done? 30 days. You all must have anti-air. There we go, 105 horses. There. Can I? Yeah, I wish I could actually tell this guy, go on the bottom, I'm not going to use you ever again. 
CME's entry to the League of Nations, New Zealander entry, League of Nations, it's fine. 760. And we're finally holding the line, sort of. Seems like they still are showing their teeth here, so let's send you guys one more trip into France. You know the way. Oh. Cool. U13. Let's prepare, prepare this attack. We're gonna wait a little bit. And there are our new ships. We have 34 ships here. I'm gonna take two tanks from here to defend my borders. Go here and here. Okay, you're done. Next. Better artillery. How many divisions do you have, America? Well, are you America 1 or America 2? You're America 1. You have... 14 divisions. Okay. You have 7 divisions. You have 15. How many do I have? 206. Yeah, I believe this is amazing. Keep sending them in, though. Northern France. You know, sure. Okay, now we'll be ready. And are we? Yes, basically we are. Ooh, that's gonna be powerful. Okay, thanks, everyone here, except you two. You, I don't think you. I'm gonna need you two. Are you ready with your plan? Kinda. Marines? That's great! Great. One more for ships and the naval doctrine. Which we are not using, by the way, so I don't know why we, we are so excited about it. Okay, so what's the plan? I need to close off this part of Italy. You don't have a port here, so that's gonna be cool. Right. I'm gonna go on speed 3 because I actually do want to wedge this war a little bit slower. Declare this war. Okay, we're holding that line. There's Italy. Good for you, Italy. You can actually attack me. Okay, good enough, tanky. I want one of you over here, immediately. Magyars, that was your last hope, I think. Okay, there's our first pocket, maybe. I want you to hold him off here. And I want you to attack him there. Help this guy. There we go. Pocket completed. I want you to attack this guy. And you, sir. Take that without hesitation. Actually, there is a hesitation. I want you over here immediately. Then we'll attack over there. You to attack over here. Didn't know your part. You two, attack here and here. Keep pushing there. That was a mistake, actually, I shouldn't have left out the attack. 
There's our pocket. Okay, I want you to attack there. You, sir, go over there. You can stop that. You're not basically doing anything. Hold. Then attack. Makeshift bridges. River crossing speed. Okay, let's say we break them here. What do we need to take? One, two, three, four, five, six. You attack him there. You help him this. Oh, wow. Okay, go on. What, really? You guys, hold it. I want one of you to keep attacking there. You go over there. Oh, I can take that, unfortunately. Okay, you're mine. Go here. Okay, good enough. I want you to attack here. You attack here. Really? He broke here? That's impressive. Oh wow, you actually failed there. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, push there and you push here. You help him there. We did it. Okay, I want you to keep fighting there and there. I do want you guys to protect this border. We'll be fine. You should actually move over here, you know. And since they're not actually defending Florencia, go okay, take this. How's the war going here? It's fine. We've basically done everything we needed here. France has no chance against us anymore. Okay, I want you to cover this for now. Keep on on speed 3, why not? Okay, attack there. You saw attack here. You keep on pushing there. Apparently we are winning this, so no reason to let up. Albania just joined the Greeks in their faction. Ten French divisions. You still have divisions, France? How many? Around 40 to 50. Losing those 10 will be a huge, huge blow to your war effort, won't it? Let's say that they retreated. Yeah, sure. Go here, take that. Well, we are still waiting on this one. Miwano. Okay, you go here, take this, and you go here and take this. Move over here. Take down those three Italians. Yeah, you keep pushing with those horsemen in common. There we go. Push over there. Seems like we're gonna take Rome soon enough. Go help him with that. Okay, this is done.
No escape for you, I'm afraid. You stay here and attack this guy. You attack him. Okay, horses. Again, let's extend your lines. I want you here. And only there for now. You know, I actually don't think we need to wait. Just go and crush them here, here, and here. You go here, and you go here, and then here. Keep pushing there. You go through here. Attack Rome from multiple fronts. Don't allow them to escape. Okay, you keep... Uh, you actually attack there. I want you to go over here. Keep pushing home there to there. Still not enough. It's fine. Oh dear. Look at those Italian divisions just disappearing. Poor Italy. That's gonna make you feel better. You're doing it for the greater cause of our Germany. And why are you attacking? Okay, take Rome, please. Hmm. Attack here. You sir, attack there. And you can attack here. Commissars, keep pushing. I want to encycle them over there. You don't stop until I tell you to. Okay, everyone, just keep on pushing over there. And you guys, you two can take him out, I think. And that's going to be it for you. And you guys stop pushing. It was a good idea, but it didn't work. Okay, I want you to move over here, and you move over there. We have a tank on the mountains. This is amazing. A single person pushed it there. Okay, we now have 80, 90, and 100. Ooh, wow, wow, dudes. No, no, no. Hmm. You know, let's actually send our division of infantry here. And we'll clear the tanks for different tasks. Namely, the Polish Massacre. And you can go on speed 5. Resistance growth here. Really? Okay. How much is it? Mine's down. Yeah, sure. Growth. Can't believe it. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, can't believe we actually have resources for all that. When we clearly don't. Okay, guys. Over here. Move. Oh, you honestly broke through there. I am impressed. Help him with this. You can stay there for now. Hmm. Okay, guys. Italy and Croatia. Really? America, dude, stop it. Let's take a look. How many divisions do you have left? Twelve. Well, let's make him eleven. We're going all the way in there. Attack here, here, and here, and here. And you attack here and here. You here? And you, sir, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go 
fall with this plan because I think you're gonna have to support attack support this attack. Let's see how this is gonna go. That's our first victory. Hooray! No no, keep going. British India's entry to the League of Nations. Oh yeah, the League of Nations, or as we call it, Germany. Or soon to be Germany. It really is more of a sequel thing. You give me tungsten and you give me some oil. We don't need carriers, we're not gonna use them. Yeah, you can keep going. Keep pressing that escape button for some reason. Okay, you go help him. And I want you to delete this order. And you go. Ah, look at those fallen foe. Okay, once fallen foes, we'll go back to Italy. And then we're gonna take down Hungary. You know, I actually was thinking what to do with the map, and I think I'm gonna conquer everything. I need the factories. This Germany is pretty weak, even with France on its side. Okay, something we're missing. No. Then we need more planes. Or, as we call them, more bombers? Let's take a look, actually. If we say go on the bomber's path, tactical bombers. How close our support? Buildings, tanks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Air defense. The moments have higher air defense. Okay. The agility, well, no surprises there. Air superiority, one. For both. Naval targeting. The close air support has more naval targeting, but we have more. Naval bombers, so we don't actually need that. Maximum speed, reliability. Hmm. Okay, but that's not what we actually need to know. Let's say you. I can't click on the bombers right now, so that's fun. And you. Okay, let's take a look. Command power, 40, 20, 40. Why do you need so much manpower for one plane? I mean, I would understand that it's only 5 for the bombers. And basically 2 for this, but whatever. Air defense. Naval attacks 10, naval attacks 15. So you will get better than this. How's the range going? Ground attack, that's what we're looking for. Huh. Ground attacks. It seems like the ground attacks on this are better than this. This is something I did not expect. Maybe it's because strategic bombers are superior. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're only looking at the best. Manpower, no, no surprises there. Agility 10, superiority, naval. Yeah, naval targeting sucks in this. Reliability, okay. Air attack. Damage against airplanes, we don't care about that. Strategic bombing. I don't know what that means. That actually means this. Enemy buildings, infrastructure and industry. Close air support. I actually am kind of confused right now. So, just want to see something. 
Oh, okay, they do have different models for different bombers, so that's cool. What to choose? This is the question. Hmm. We will need strategic bombers if we decide to drop bombs on America because we're not going to drop on Europe. Europe is ours. Reliability 80%, maximum speed. Ground attack 15. Ground attack, where is that? You actually don't have ground attack, so you're useless for now. 15, 20, or 10. I guess that it's. Close air support it is. This might be a mistake, you know, but I, I think we're gonna do Yeah, you keep pushing, it's only Poland. They actually don't have any defenders. I mean, it's Poland. They don't have horsemen, they're not very good. As we know from history. There's our nuclear research. Dansk shall be ours. Or as we call it, Danzig. We do this, go attack here. No, no, you don't need that. Make sure this unit is dead. Hello, little guy. Okay, that's why we let... Oh, I forgot. We actually moved them when we redraw the line. Can we actually build a few tanks? Not those. Let's dismiss these guys. Build five of you. Let's build two. We have enough resources for two. You're done. Go. Kryovets. 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 I don't know. Okay, close air support, he'll be next. I'm gonna have two factories on you. Those guys. And we're still waiting for the close air support. Till that time, we're gonna build some fighters. It's all gonna go for planes anyway. Yeah, we don't actually have enough cavalry to cover Poland and Italy, so we're gonna cover Italy for now. Opelin Azars, renamed Katowice. Opelin. Um, okay, that's how we are going to call it. Glevitz. Oberschlesen. That's Kjellingsburg. Okay, good enough. Go here. You, sir, you don't actually need to do that. Go and take all of this. Thanks, fast. And cute. Okay, take that. You, go here. You can attack over here. You don't need that. Go here and take him out. Close the gap, and there we go. And Psychoman. And some Romanians to kill. You know, Romanians are cool. Everyone likes Romanians. I mean, Lateran Royalists, I don't care. Okay, finish them off here. So, how many troops do we have here? 70, 80. Okay, we're gonna need more horsemen in time. Sure. 
Wait, what? So the Balkan block just um, entered this war. Well, that was fun. Means that they actually don't have anything to resist them now. Because I did all the work and they're gonna steal all the glory, bastards. Okay, attack here. You attack over there. Hey, do you want to come and work for me, dude? Ask to join faction. No. Why not? Generated too much world tension. Oof, sure. Let's say that I care about that. There goes Poland. Okay, Poland is ours. Next. Does that cover entire border? Yes, okay. We'll need all of this here. I'm gonna tell you to... No. Apparently you are not able to attack due to too many Polish troops. Well, no, Hungarian troops. Damn it. Anyway. Okay, tank divisions. Give me your glory. What, really? Um, okay. I'm pretty sure we killed some of you. Apparently Romania stayed out of the war. Okay, I'm gonna take this, this. Oh, you really didn't do anything, so that was a quick victory on my part. Iron Guard Romania. Okay, how should I do this? Let's say that we want this, this, and this. Seems like Serbia... Oh, right, Serbia is not part of this war. Italy, take everything. Gee, what do I need to take everything from everyone? I want you. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, amazing. This and this. 2000. Hmm, 2500. Three thousand. Did you take anything or you're just not allowing me to take everything now because the game really loves playing with me? You know, peace conferences are garbage in this game as well, so... One would ask, why am I even playing this if I hate it so much? Well, I don't hate it. It's an average game. And I like redrawing borders. It's something about me drawing. And that's all of it. Drawing. Nothing else. Okay, let's just make sure that Greece didn't take everything. Anything. Okay, that's great. And done here. We're not at war with Romania anymore. Oh, look at that, France, you're all alone! On a lonely island. Go on and take that. Also, we actually are going to extend this line. We have 105 of you. Yeah, it's mine, but, you know, I don't mind. Romania, do you hate me? I'm just asking. Yep. They hit me a lot. You can't justify war go because political power in this game is a horrible burden. It will take 200 days for that. Anyway, we now have a lot of factories. Let's produce some air wings and... Right. Oh, 
Right, uh, guys, I need tanks on the Serbian border. Right over there. Go. Next. Again, I cannot justify a war go because we don't have any political power. Okay, we'll go through Serbia, then we'll take Bulgaria, and then the Ottoman Empire. Can you take this guy out, please? Go here. Uh, you. Do you have... No. Not giving you this order. Okay, go take that. Take this, and I want you to go over here. And you go over here. This is ours. This is great, 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 great. Seize the couple of things. Okay, tanks, move in. Oh, dude, you have no right to attack from Romania. It's funny when the game breaks its own rules, you know? I understand them retreating there. Okay, that's all about Serbia. Take it. We have horses on this island, it's secured. This one was not, but it's fine. Fossils or something. This was an incredibly quick victory for the Poland, I think. I'll show you in Poland and company. We lost a horseman somewhere. Don't know how that happened. Wait. Right, because, you know, the game has no idea what to do when you tell it to occupy land. Another broken part of the game. And it has potential, this game. Yeah, the battle lines are kind of stupid idea. Because the players actually don't do anything. So you can't actually call this a game, you can just call it a recoloring simulator. And again, I have nothing against that. I like colors, especially when they're shiny. Okay, everyone, need you from here to go all the way over there. March. As aggressive as you can. Also, what can we give you? Panzer expert, go ahead. Infantry expert, you will do as well. And there will be peace. Take Varna. And again, breaking your own rules game. No, no, just one of you. One of you attacks from here. Oh, look at that, more Turkish division falling apart. You still have no men. 110,000. Well, that's nothing. It's Turkey. They can live with uh, the loss. And again, it's Turkey. They probably deserve it. Okay, go here. You better be ready to die, mate, because we are coming. You, sir, go over here. Take that. Come on, take it. There you go. Keep pushing, please. If you can. If not, we actually shouldn't be worried about that, because... Do we need those? Well, let's keep them in reserve, in case we actually need to end that. And... Marines. Okay. Oh, by the way, that, did we research those tanks? No. Totally forgot about them. There we go, then. New tanks incoming.
we will have a division of... You know, I'm going to make him 40 with... We are going to add one artillery. Two artillery. Two anti-tank. And one more infantry unit. Usually I would go with three artillery, one anti-tank, one anti-air, and the rest of those. But that's fine. We actually haven't researched supplies, so that's going to be kind of difficult. Okay. And support artillery. There you have it. How many can we build? Okay, we don't need you here. Thanks to those horsemen, we can actually build more, so let's just deploy them. And say that we are going to use them, but we really won't. 37. Okay, occupy everything here. The lines are gonna be extended later, but for now, this is all we can do. 12. Okay, that's a little bit better. Sort of. You can't pass through here, right? Yep. Turkey claims Greece. Yeah, that's great. You actually don't borrow Greece anymore, dude. Let's just kill those divisions. I need you to stop. I need the infantry to attack alone. This is not going well. No matter. Code. Everyone, I want to be on speed too. I mean, on not very offensive, still offensive though. 37. Are we building three horsemen? No, I was thinking about that. Let's have three and send them there. Okay, I want you all to go over here. Okay, because this is part of this state. If I fail to take that, I want you to remove this order, and I'm gonna leave a single infantry division over there. That's until our. Well, then we'll just go here. Oh, dude. Do you still think you have a chance against me? That's adorable. Okay. I have 3,000 planes. That's more than enough to take him down. So, I actually think we should do this now. And, and... Upgrade that airfield. Also, because we're amazing, I'm gonna send my people to raid this. How many battleships do we have? Eight. I mean, how many level 3 battleships? Really? Now a single one? How is that even possible? You know, that doesn't matter. Oh, we don't need Chromium anymore, thank you for that. And Portugal. Less tungsten is appreciated. Since you're not gonna give me what I need, I'm gonna take less from you. Romania. Ah, beautiful Romania. I wish you were part of my nation. That was going to make it so much easier to control the oil in Europe. Nevertheless, we shall have enough resources soon enough. Southern France. Actually, I need your own convoy ratings. You know, there should be events for accidents, like a French ship, by accident, shot down a Spanish navy. Later he claimed that it was because supplies, you know, were transferred to Germany from that location. 
This will make war support for Spain go up against France, and they will have the event to go for war propaganda against France. Something we actually do need, war propaganda. We need so much more than that. Okay, who can we purchase some oil from? No one. Mexico controls the oil. Grand Colombia. That's going to be difficult to take over. If only we can ask them to join us. How many divisions do you have? Eleven. You have seven. You have fifteen. Yeah, we're still are the best power in the world. The strongest nation. Are we using convoys for anything? For trade and supply? Mm. One. There goes the French Navy, I think. Okay, let's go with the secret police. And while doing that, we're also going to research... Ah, that's why we don't have enough oil to construct here. Okay, fleets. I need you to escort this here. Yeah, wonderful. Don't engage. Thank you. Just defend our convoys, okay? Alright, well, I guess we are going to need another infantryman there. Okay, send him here. Right, since we actually don't do anything with Greece or Albania, I will need to wait and take him over. Okay, good enough. We're losing convoys here. Um, okay, I actually didn't think I was gonna be, I was gonna need to specify, but don't go through the channel. That's why we're defending those three. I'll defend here. And since they are sinking them in this channel, I'm gonna have to. Why do we have bombers? Didn't I give, tell you to take the bombers over here? Yeah, now shut up. Oh, we have 500 bombers. I didn't think that's going to be that many. Okay, a thousand of you. And a thousand fighters here. Um, naval bombers? There we go. A thousand. Move here and sick everything. We are missing tactical bombers here. Because there's no way I can actually scrap them. Wait, is there? not producing any naval bombs right now for some reason. I will need a radar station right over here. Occupied territory, so okay. Construction, production. There's our cross air support.
How's our navy? 21 ships. Well, we do have a level 3 one now. Okay, you guys are level 2 now, so let's go to level 3 immediately. And I say we can go a little bit ahead of time, right? October. Mm. That's worth it. Go with this. New sir. We don't have anti-tank because, you know, we don't throw that way. Go with this. Okay, I need you to actually repair. We need a stable fleet in order to take down our worst enemy, Mexico. Okay, you're being built. We're waiting for those two tanks, because why won't we? And now we wait, but I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, thank you all for joining me. I'm going to see you all next time. Goodbye.